Have you ever asked yourself the question, why am I here? And what purpose does my life hold? Too many times we have questions that have gone unanswered. We've looked around, we've talked among ourselves and we talk to others and we try to just come up with ideas of imaginaries as to what can we do to even change society. What am I doing even in society? Am I doing enough? One thing about life is that we can never do too much. We all have a part in this. When it comes to doing the things that are right, and even Solomon said in the Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, he tells us that the whole duty of man is to fear God and to keep his commandment. And we certainly believe in that. But when it comes to our children, especially in our world with so much gangs and violence and everything that is going on, you try to figure out what can we do? Parents, who will stop the talk with our children? Who will tell them that drugs is no good? Who will tell them that alcohol is not the way, is not the life in which you want to live and to drown yourself in some bottom? But all of these things are occurring and they're reoccurring. Not only are they happening in our world and in our society, they're happening all in every place within this world. There have been great legacies made. There have been great strides of men that had given their lives, even during our military stage, even now. There are those who are fighting in a fight that even when they get home, the honor is not theirs. The government and everything else, we look over men of courage, men that have won the battles, men that have bear the scars and the marks and the bruises, men that will have even life fixed every moment in the lives of lost limbs and everything else. So we say to ourselves, how can we change society? We can never do too much. So when the question is ever asked, are we doing enough? The question should be, what are we doing? Certainly it takes and it makes a difference in our world. I remember Jesus when he says in Matthew chapter 10, he talks about all of these dangers in our world. We start talking about things like, it can't happen here. And finally when they come, everybody is amazed though it seems. Our world is trending. It is trending each and every day. Whatever happened in one part of the world, it seemed to take effect even in the next. Matthew 10, 34, the Lord said, Think not that I'm come to send peace on earth. I've come not to send peace, but rather a sword. I am come to set a man at variance against his father. I'm come to set a mother at variance, even against her daughter. The Lord said, there shall be five in one house divided, two against three, three against two, the father against his son, the mother against her daughter, the mother-in-law against the daughter-in-law, the son against his son-in-law, and all of these things. These things, they're happening in our world. So when one takes a gun or a knife and he kills a parent, these things are not new in our world. They're just trending and they're trending each and every day. But there is a way out. There is a way. There's a place. There is hope. There is hope in our world. And we all have a part and we must play in it even when it comes to teaching. I was just trying to find the right setting. I thank God for the nature of this world and the things in which men have built because everything in life, it makes a difference. It makes a difference sometimes even in our own society where we are, the places that we live, our environment. I say again, when our soldiers come home, they don't get the hero's welcome, but rather they get frowned upon. Some get laughed at and they get mocked. People write about them in the newspaper column. They call them killers and beasts and all of these things. The government looks over them. It does not care for them. Even in society, all of these things, they're going on. They're taking place and they're taking shape in our world. And I want to say to those of you listening, take time out. Do something to help curb the violence in our world. Do something when it comes to talking to our children. Say something when you see the dangers. Things are not just happening. 
They're not just joining gangs. And I want to say to those of you that are joining gang, the leaders, they're not the one being killed. It's those of you that they have put up on the front line. You're being slaughtered. You're giving your life for nothing. You're giving your life and you're doing things that leaders tell you to do. To those of you that are doing drive-by shootings and young people and old people are asleep in their homes and in our home, people, all of these things, they must stop. All of this police brutality and things that are going on in our world and men saying that they didn't know that they had a gun, that the gun was loaded, that they thought it was tasers. Men that cried out and said, I can't breathe. We must be mindful. We must be careful. Our world is changing. Everything around us is. Pray to God. Ask for the strength. Ask for the forgiveness of our world. Pray that you make a decision to serve him before life and time pass you by. If you're not a Christian, you need to be. You say, what must I do to be saved? You must hear the gospel of God, Romans 10, 17. You must believe his word, Hebrews 11 and 6. You must repent of your sin, Luke 13, 3 and 5. Confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is God's son. Matthew 10, 32 and 33. You must be baptized in water to have your sins washed away. Acts 2, 38. Mark 16, 15, 16. John 19 and 34. People, we must continue to be faithful if we ever want to receive that crown of eternal life. John 8, 31, 32. Revelation 2 and 10. The Lord, he speaks to all of us. We all have a part in society. We all must do something. God bless you and God keep you at this time as he watch over us in the day and in the night. And we thank God for men that had risked it all, men that had given it all, men that had paid the ultimate sacrifice. That is our military warriors. God bless both men and women in uniform to keep them safe. In Jesus' name we pray. We ask it all. Amen.